This is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Channel Legends video. This is free to play 2024. There's my account, and we're starting again on the tutorial. Here we go again. Uh, I am going to actually pick Kale this time around. Yeah, I've had uh, a number of free to play accounts where I picked all of the different starters. I'm going back in with the Kale nice and early to get myself some of that clan boss poison. I've got to say, though, the starter champions matter far less than they used to. Because you just there's just so many better epics in the game now. There's so many better rares in the game that kind of do the same type of job. You've kind of got Elhane, probably your best out-and-out -out damage dealer, but no debuffs. Aethel does bring you a weaken and some good, I guess, finite utility. Galak is just the worst one. And Kale brings you the best clan boss utility. They all bring a similar level of damage. So it doesn't really matter which of those that you pick. But um, this time around, we're going to... Pick the poison up, grab the kale, and yeah, get yourself into the game. I've then got the first big decision to make, and maybe you can help me in this video. So I'm going to make the decision. Uh, no, maybe I'm just going to make it now. Actually, I don't know if I've got time to like wait for decisions. I've just got to do it. I've got to make a decision about which epic I'm going to choose. Yeah, thank you, Arbiter, for all of your news. I've seen it before, but we will do it all again. But yeah, I've got a choice of, and I will throw this up for you guys to see. The free to play challenge. We've got this whole kind of like section about it on hellhades.com, which I'll pin down below, where you can kind of get all of the information that you need. And um, Neva's also done a bit of a guide for how to start new accounts and stuff like that. So that's on the main uh, page of hellhades.com as well. But there's also a giveaway for anybody who wants to get involved with the new free to play challenge. And this is where you're going to find all of the leaderboards. I don't know if it's already done. Saf's in the mix of it. Uh, no, there's going to be like all of the creators on this page really soon in terms of there's like 50 of us all involved and we're all going to be involved in teams. We did a, a full stream of basically picking all the teams last night. So you can go in, check out that stream. It's actually about, about 50 minutes long. Really fun. Had a bunch of the creators on stream live with me and we were talking about some of our, our tactics, I guess. And then very soon you'll be able to see here where people are in terms of the teams and what sort of points they're earning at the moment. So that's that's worth checking out. Um, but what I wanted to talk about was the starter champions. Now, everybody's allowed one starter epic from the new player promo codes. And really, there's a few choices to make here, or a few that you could make. I think it's really Mordecai who massively buffs the new free login champion with an AoE burn. The new login champion gets tons more damage when there's a burnout. It also gives you increased attack for your team, and he gives you a turn meter boost. We've got Allure, who is really good against Fire Knight and Dark Fae, which are two quite niche bits of gameplay, but hard to get through. We've got Deacon, who's a, just an all-rounder. He's an all-round beast. Speed booster, turn meter booster, AoE decreased defense. Really good for speed tuning for stuff like Clan Boss. So he, he gains in strength over time. But there are a lot of epics now that do a similar job. Not as good as him, but a similar job. And then you've got Miscreated Monster, who I'd say is a, more like a tanky carry. So you've got AoE hit. You've got shield for your team. Super good against Spider. And he also brings a ally protect, which is incredibly valuable in clan boss. So although he's not naturally used as a clan boss champion, because the rest of his kit makes zero sense in clan boss, the fact that he's bringing an ally protect is huge actually. It's very, very big. And it could be the difference between you moving on to like brutal clan boss or you know staying back down on hard for quite a while. So he could end up being a massive game changer. So we're gonna keep punching through this and then we'll kind of get to the point where we throw in a promo code. Okay, so we're in, we get our free stuff. All of these free items you get for day one to six are all gonna be the mainstay items, or at least four of them will be on your start a champion or eventually probably this dude you get at day seven who's going to be brilliant i think so you can literally go straight in and put the piece you just picked up straight onto your champion and honestly just level it up as far as you can because it's going to always have these same stats it always gives you speed at the start it gives you crit rate attack percent it's just going to massively help you grow your damage grow your uh, pace of doing stuff i actually do make the mistake though i just want to check some stuff here I want to push missions as quickly as I can, and I don't want to 
end up doing stuff in the wrong order, which I do a lot. Even though I've done this, this starter so many times, I do do this a lot. So you want to be punching missions as much as you can, and you want to be pushing through challenges as fast as you can as well. So always keep an extra eye on what it's asking you to do in these different areas. Like this one here, win three weapons from clearing normal. Do it straight away. Yeah, do it straight away so that it gets you onto the next set of missions. And, um, and then that way you end up actually moving on to missions which are at your level rather than having to backtrack and go back and do missions and challenges, which you could have done um, a while back. You end up kind of, it feels like a bit of a waste, honestly. So yeah, you definitely want to be just kind of like rolling with these things as quick as you can. So now I'm like collected two. None of this stuff is going to be worthwhile at all for your account. Yeah, it's all absolute trash. So don't think to invest anything in the stuff you're finding right now. Only invest in the stuff that you've been given for free, like that lifesteal gear that we just got there for, um, for kind of like logging in. And I will show you some cool stuff you get as like freebies as a starter account right now as well, which is going to be a game changer, honestly. Um, especially the Call of the Arbiter stuff, which a lot of people, because it's no longer like the big hype, people just won't be aware of it. Beating that challenge there. See that? Got it out of the way. Grab my silver. Thank you very much. And then you can kind of move on. But yeah, check this out. Call of the Arbiter absolutely filled with stuff. Yeah, so you can go in here and you can hit the share trailer and it'll give you these three things. Yeah, same thing on all of these. See this gems? Yeah, you're just gonna get free stuff right the way along. So it's actually a bunch of freebies all the way along just for basically saying you watch the episode. I thought you could do promo codes as well, but I think they might have failed, but still four star chickens, tons of energy, all for just hitting that share episode button on each of these, which is going to be huge at the start of your account. So I guess the worst thing here, so if I go Deacon, I get an epic book. If I go Mordecai, I get nothing really extra. If I go Miscreating Monster, I get nothing really extra. Allure, nothing really extra. Feels like Deacon's probably the best bet, but because of the new starter champion that we've got, I'm actually going to go for, if I could copy this, click for gameplay as my one. Click for gameplay and grab myself a Mordecai who I've never had as like the, the original starter epic. Grab all of this stuff now. There's no real benefit in leaving it in there. And away we go. So Mordecai is joining the account and he's going to be in the mix now for my like free starter. We'll get him in the squad straight away so that he can start to get some experience going. But don't forget the absolute prime target right now for any new player is to get their first level 60 champion. Okay, that's, that's your first thing, number one. The second thing is to make sure that you win the free-to-play tournament, which is normally pretty easy to do because most people don't follow kind of like these type of videos to do it, okay? Most people are just super casual. The trouble we've got right now is there's probably a few hundred people that have just started free-to-play accounts to get involved with this challenge, which is fun, but also means that we're going to have um, a load of these tournaments with people going hard, which is not normal. So you kind of need to suss it out yourself, but really you want to be going all out to win that free-to-play tournament because you get some good stuff. If you can't win it, you definitely want to get the speed items, which I'll show you right now, actually. You definitely want to get yourself the speed items from it. In fact, I've not even got the tournament yet. Maybe mine will pop up in a minute. But yeah, there'll be a tournament that pops up very soon. Maybe it's like level 10 or something where you can win speed gear as like a definite, but then you can also win things like summons or gems, which are, are really important to get as well. And honestly, all you need to do is just to go and be active in a whole bunch of different areas of the game just through the first couple of levels of it. Okay, so obviously I had to get a few more levels on, which is super quick. I've, only, I've been playing like less than half an hour. Uh, we've now got some of the different events running, but you get a free-to-play tournament running where you can get this speed gear, a champion, um, some, some other stuff, and then there's a chance to win a shard and some gems up here. As I say, there's a lot of people that will be in the mix right now with all these new free-to-play accounts, uh, but you want to be pushing as hard on that as you can. And then what I've been doing is fast-progressing the artifacts area, okay? Because all of this 
tells you to come back to the same place again and again. You just want to grind through it super quick whilst also beating missions as well. So you want to be doing both of these things alongside each other, ideally. So we're going to keep going on campaign, just doing like the basic stuff. I'm not using my epic right now because all I want to do is farm food to feed into Kale to get Kale to six star as soon as possible. Mordecai, honestly, is going to be someone that I pick up and get running with probably in a couple of days. I don't need him yet. He's literally just going to be someone who's going to help me a little bit further along. So if you want to be quite um, efficient, I guess, then you don't want to be spreading that experience across people that you want to level. You want to spread experience between your main champion you want to level and the food champions that you're going to feed into the person that will eventually become a six star. Cool thing as well on this page, the SAF's got the free to play page updated. We've got all of the creators updated here now. So you could go into any creator that you just want to kind of like check out and be like, right, okay, well, let's check out Bronco. Um, and it will, it will take you to his channel and any of the links that they've given us. So if someone's got uh, Twitter as well or X, it will take you to their Twitter stuff. So you can literally just go and uh, I guess subscribe to all of these channels, go and check out all these creators because they will all be dropping content on their free to play experience and hopefully doing collabs with others in their team as well. And if you're on this page and you click show community, you can see how quickly people are developing their accounts. So, you know, who's who's progressing the quickest? Some people are already moving on arena. I'm literally like half an hour into the game. Some people have already got 154 speed. Kale, um, yeah, it's cool to see. So you'll get to see everybody's account. There will be a bunch of HH free to play variants because I couldn't even get, I tried three different names for myself and they were already gone. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I guess people just been stealing my name. <laughs> anyway, cool stuff. Come and like, like look around. You can see some of the teams people are already using to beat stuff and kind of like start to progress their accounts. Eaton, the first artifact challenge. Got myself a rare book. And then it gets you onto this, win three weapons from stage one, three weapons from stage two. Do all of these straight away. Get them out of the way because they are annoying, honestly. Trust me, they're particularly annoying missions. Right, uh, it's the next morning. I've had a few hours sleep. I actually played until 4 a.m. What does this game do to you? Um, but super cool. So I've got loads of stuff going on. I've basically been smashing through uh, a load of the different challenges, trying to get a load of this done as quick as I can. I'm kind of like shard seeking at the moment to try and get some shards pulled this weekend. I'm going to pull shards either later today or tomorrow. Got a few kind of like chalked up already. And um, yeah, we've got a couple of upgrades on the Great Hall done. We have got uh, the missions kind of like pushing on towards the 300 gems, which is really what I want. The 300 gems will enable me to buy masteries for Kale. So I'm waiting on a clan boss key to this move in. Everything else I think is just kind of good to go. So I've kind of done the rest. Yeah, then I will get those 300 gems. So as soon as I get a clan boss key in a few hours, I think it's like three and a half hours now, I will be punching on to get my gems, get Kale his masteries, and then I will be able to progress even far, uh, further. I have got a five-star Kale with a little bit of ascension. You see, I've leveled his gear up as much as I can. Level 16 chest, the starter gear that we get, level 16 it already within, what, 12 hours of playing the game. Yeah, it's really, really important if you want to progress fast. I would say that this gear is not brilliant. So if you're like a slower progressive player, then you probably wouldn't level up, you know, like these three-star attack pieces to 16. But because we're on this kind of like challenge of doing stuff quick, uh, I have done that. I've also put in with this divine set, which actually got a nice roll on this one, because it will also give us a little shield when we're in campaign, and that helps a lot. My secondary champion, I've put in the shield set that I got through missions. That is a lifesaver when it comes to any form of campaign. Having a shield set on is absolutely brilliant. So I've got weird gear on here right now. Like this dude is geared weird. I'd much rather this was an HP percent chest. Uh, I probably would, would rather, well, I would rather this was like HP percent. In fact, I wonder if I've got anything better since I've been playing along. No. But anyway, 
because I have to roll stuff up to 12, I just took some stuff up that was around. But honestly, this gear needs to be speed boots and it needs to be HP on the gloves to help the shield set do some work. At the moment, it's trash, but it's better than having nothing at all. And then pretty much all of my food, I'm just funneling into Kale to get myself up to a six star as soon as possible. So he's five star now. The next thing will be a five star Mordecai, and then it'll be a six star on the Kale. So still a lot to do. Now, I've managed to get all of the rewards here from the novice tournament. I'm doing well, actually, 2,455 points so far. I'm going to claim the speed rewards. I'll leave the rest in there because I don't, well, maybe I'll take this dude. I'll leave the energy pot in there. This is a really good tip. Only take the energy pot when you need some energy, right? At the moment, I've got tons of it. I couldn't use it all uh, in all the time I've been playing. And it will refill at the rate of your level. The more you level up, the better that rate becomes. So don't just take energy pots until you actually need them. You see, I've got one sitting in here. Got one sitting in here. I've got one sitting in here. They're just going to stay there until I'm actually short of energy and then I'll make decisions because I've also got energy waiting in here. Like I'm just holding stuff until I actually need it. So really important to, to do that. I've held all of my all of the Arbiter energy as well. All of that's held until I need it because there's no point overflowing. You, you actually want to go back down to zero so that energy can refill whilst you're doing stuff in your life. Um, let's check out these, this new speed gear that I just got. We really want to see speed boots. It's HP boots. Um, it's HP boots. Although that could be kind of good for Mordecai in that shield set. If this is an HP gloves as well, go on. Fence gloves, they suck, honestly. These suck pretty much big time. Um, anything else half decent? Not really. Not a single speed roll on my five-star gear. It's random what you get. Yeah, it's totally random. But that would have helped me out a lot, actually. So never mind. It is what it is. We just carry on um, progressing. That's all fine. Uh, I will. I do like using things like the clear out button here. Anything like one and two star, you're never putting silver into that. So just get rid. Keep it clean. Uh, even three stars, you're like, am I going to use it? Probably not, unless it's a weird set like Relentless, where you might actually use some of that type of stuff. So yeah, that's a pretty much. Uh, I guess I'll just show you around. Where I'm at, farm stage seven, it's five, five. Like I just went up until it felt like I wasn't likely to win the next level, um, but only for a mission or for tournament points. Like nothing insane. I've not tried to push any of these areas. I've just done it where I had like a a moment in the missions where it asked me to do it because that's what I, I want to do. I want to get the missions completed as quickly as I possibly can to get all of those that kind of like juicy gems and loot from the missions. Um, so that's about it for day one. I guess next video, we're going to look at some shard pulling and I'm just going to try and progress as fast as I can in some of those other areas. I'll buy my masteries for Kale and yeah, keep things moving along. I guess I didn't show you campaign quickly. I blasted through normal, but didn't try to three star it everywhere. I might try and three star it today. And then I'm moving through hard. I just want to get myself to hard 12-3 as soon as I can. And I, I've not stopped because I couldn't do it. I've just stopped because I got sidetracked, actually. So, yeah, I'm just basically carrying on with this. Two food, two champions on boss levels, three food and kale on other levels, unless it feels like it's going to be tricky because of this like negative affinity stuff. And I'm just trying to progress through until I get to stage 12-3 hard as quickly as I can because that's where I'm going to have a farm point for a while. So lots going on. Um, yeah, really enjoying it so far. I know that some of the community are already smashing some insane stuff in terms of you know their, their completion, their times and all that type of stuff. So that's cool to see. But yeah, hopefully you're enjoying it so far and I'll catch you in the next one.